On this week's Behind the Wheel, we're going to tell you about what the 120,000 workers at Bentley achieved during the summer. We're going to tell you why 12,000 people lost their driving licenses in 2018. News on the biggest ever electric van order in history. And also we're going to tell you why thieves love catalytic converters. Hi, it's Andrew from Behind the Wheel. And don't forget, as always, check out the images throughout the show on what car I am sitting in and put your answers in the comments box below. But let's move straight on to news from Mitsubishi and what they are going to be launching at the Tokyo Motor Show later on in the year. They are launching a brand new compact plug-in hybrid SUV, which is not only 4x4, but they're claiming it's going to be significantly lighter than traditional methods, which means we expect far greater range and better overall performance. So that's something to watch out for at the Tokyo Motor Show, and of course we'll be bringing you news as that comes in. Moving on to Jaguar, the very successful Jaguar XF is due its facelift. And now after seeing a camouflage vehicle, we can tell you a little bit more about what we should expect from the facelift. So we're going to have a new customizable digital instrument panel, but more importantly, I think it's going to have clear sight rear view mirror. That's the same technology as Land Rover are using. So if through your rear view mirror, you have something blocking it like a big box or people or whatever it is, it uses the rear view camera to see what's behind you and digitally shows that in your rear view mirror. Pretty cool piece of kit. Now, I mentioned to you earlier about 120,000 workers at the Bentley factory. Well, they're not human workers, they've been bees. That's right, Bentley have their own beehive. And these 120,000 bees have been working hard and the first ever 100 jars of Bentley honey has now been released. Uh, unfortunately, there's no prices. Uh, I suspect they're only going to be given to VIP clients, but Bentley are intending to expand on their range of honey moving forward. Now we all know the name of Amazon and some of us may not have known that they've invested into a, an electric manufacturer called Rivian. And on the back of that, Rivian have got the largest ever order of electric vans, no big surprise, but from Amazon. 100,000 electric vehicles have been ordered uh, for arranging deliveries, we believe initially in the States only. But who is Rivian? Well, Rivian have two vehicles at the moment, which is available in America. They're called the R1T and the R1S. But interestingly, the UK have been heavily involved in the Rivian brand, and they are responsible for the advanced engineering of the vehicle. In previous episodes, we've told you about the ban which is coming our way if you park on the pavement. Uh, the government have confirmed they are going to be pushing forward with this law change, and so fines will be in place in future for parking on the pavement. So do you live in an area where you have no choice but to park on the pavement? Always tell us on the comments box below. Criminals are now moving into stealing catalytic converters and according to the Met Police, the theft of catalytic converters has increased by 100% in the first half of this year. Why you ask? Well it is because within a catalytic converter you have palladium and rhodium which is precious metals and what they're doing is removing that and then selling them and making their money that way. At this moment in time, car alarms and car security devices don't actually protect the catalytic converter and they can literally be stolen within minutes in daylight. Now, if you chose to drive through London on the 22nd of September, I bet you were regretting it because in total, 24 Bowers got involved with Car Free Day in the attempt to clear uh, London of as many vehicles as possible. And there was a yoga class on Tower Bridge in, as the sun rose on the 22nd of September. At the same time, there was various different workshops, circus workshops and cyclists took to the roads to support the clean air campaign. In the intro, I made reference to 12,000 people who had lost their driving licences. Well, in actual fact, it was just short of that of 11,953 in 2018, and it was all new drivers who'd been driving for less than two years who had managed to get more than six points on their driving licence. In 2018, there was a law change which said that if you got more than six points in the first two years of driving, your driving licence will get revoked. 
So how do we overcome this problem with new drivers getting points? Well, the answer, as always, it would appear, is dash cams, which moves us on nicely onto. If you look at the evidence here, it's probably a really good thing, because here's a scary fact. 25% of the deaths on our roads were caused by drivers who were aged between 17 and 24. So what's the solution here? Well, the suggestion is the solution is that new drivers and drivers under 24 have dash cams in their vehicles, which are then connected to their parents' phones who can then see how their children are driving. So what do you think? Is that the solution? Connect, uh, have dash cams and your relatives see how you're driving and therefore you won't drive like a lunatic and potentially kill people. But your thoughts, what's the solution here? Now this week we have just completed two new test drives, so check out those on our YouTube channel. The Skoda Scala and also the amazing BMW 3 Series, so do check out those reviews. And next week we will be bringing to you a new test drive on the Seat Turaco. So with the fight of the world on CO2 emissions, there's a new law coming in for manufacturers from the 1st of January 2020, which says that they need to reduce the average emissions of their vehicles by 10% compared to 2019. Okay, good target. Unofficially, many manufacturers are now holding back on registering low emission cars until next year to make sure their average CO2 emissions are as high as possible for this year so they don't have such a, a massive task to save on their emissions next year. This has seen some cars, uh, which brands are we going to keep nameless, uh, delayed for about five months for clients who have ordered in good faith. So we've all seen the films with handbrake turns on them and that's all down to the traditional handbrake or sort of certainly a, a beefed up version of the traditional handbrake but I'm afraid to say that the handbrake is dying now. They've all moved over to electric or well, when I say all there's only about 30% of vehicles now come with a traditional handbrake. So if you bought a new car recently which has got a traditional handbrake hey tell us what that car is and put it in the comments box below. Now normally I'm banned from saying the following word which is Brexit uh, but on this particular one in my script it says talk about it. Okay 31st of October if we leave or we don't leave whatever might happen the cost of cars could go up by 5 or 10 percent. Please keep watching uh, but however Fiat Group have turned around and said well whatever happens on the 31st of October we will stand by our prices for anyone who've ordered their Fiat or associated brand, which includes the Yarbath, Alfa Romeo and Jeep. Anyone who's ordered by the 31st of October will be have a price guarantee on the new import tax, if applicable. So will other manufacturers follow? Well, watch this space and we'll keep you informed. So a massive congratulations to Toyota who have just hit a massive milestone of 10 million Land Cruisers. That's right, it's taken them 68 years to do it, but they have now announced they've just made their 10 millionth vehicle, um, which of course we all know and love. If you like a little bit of a competition, then head over to our Twitter account, which is OSV Motoring News, and there we are running a competition where we're showing you a small caption of a road sign, and what you've got to do is you've got to guess what the road sign is. So check that out and join in. So a quick heads up on some special offers for you. We are coming to the end of September, and it's one of the best times to commit, if you're going to, for a brand new vehicle. And we have literally about 25 Mercedes which are on bargain prices. So if you're after a Mercedes or any other sort of premium brand, now is the time to check out our website or give us a call. Congratulations to Nikolai who correctly guessed, first of all, last week I was sitting in a Tesla 3. Remember to check out these final images to guess what car I'm sitting in right now. So I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Remember to tell your friends, share the video and ring that bell. But until next week, safe driving.